Have you ever wanted to try Samsung keyboard on a non Samsung phone? You can see right here, this is a Hawaii phone. And yes, it does work. You can see that it can easily type here and it inputs something. Disclaimer, I do want to mention not everything works perfectly, but right here we have the Samsung UI. But if you try to click on GIFs, for example, it won't work. But emojis do work. So I think that's quite nice. If you click on the settings option, for example, you will see this actually pretty much the standard and one thing you can never really update this app this is the only one that really works so i'm going to show you today how to get this on your phone if you still want it after this disclaimer so very simply to get this on your phone within just a few seconds go to the link in the description where you will find a download link to this one ui 5 keyboardportapk so let's click on download right here and this is on your phone the best way because if you download on your phone, you can directly install it. So I'm going to click here on download anyway, but you're only going to find it on the computer. If you find it on the Android, it's fine. This file is completely safe. So right now, I'm going to send it to my phone. I'm just going to right click on it and then send it to my phone, which is actually phone link and check out our channel. Make sure you subscribe so I can actually find the video here because phone link is very useful. You can see that it's actually sending to my phone directly. So after getting it on your phone, it is installed. The only thing you have to do now is to click on open this file in your downloads folder. And after doing this, you will get something like this. Of course, you have to click on continue. And then afterwards, you have to click on install. They might ask if you want to download from unknown sources, make sure this is enabled. So right here, I'm just going to click on install very simply. And there you go. Samsung keyboard is downloading on my P20 just now. After it's completed, we'll actually mention this and afterwards we can easily open it. But one thing it won't open and it is just a setting in your phone you have to enable. Very simply to actually enable this on your phone, the only thing you have to do is to go to your settings if you know how to find them. And then afterwards you have to search up keyboard. After searching up keyboard, there might be a chance you can see something like Samsung keyboard. Make sure you click on it and then you enable it down below right here. After you've enabled it, it's going to attention you with something, um, a message. Not really sure if I should pay attention, but it's completely safe. Right here, you can actually click on it again and then you can actually change the settings already. Right now, it can actually be accessed in your keyboard. Just make it default. You can actually find this above right here, default keyboard. Let's enable it right here. And here's the Samsung keyboard UK. And it is so difficult to select things from the camera. But right here, you can see it's my default. And now if I try to start something, you can see that Samsung keyboard is working. Let me know if there are any other things that won't really work. But if you love this UI, you can finally use it now. And you can also tweak things like the layout, for example but it is not that customizable or for example the font size and you can also show the keyboard right here well like i said it's not a perfect app but if you love this ui you can use it i guess i'm happy i've shown you this and i want to see you in the next one so make sure you stay tuned also for the phone link video i will see you in the next one goodbye